hi everyone and welcome back to sana's garden and welcome if you're new here i hope you all are doing great so this video is an update on my winter sowing project or the milk jug planting which i had done some time ago so i also have two more videos already on this topic uh, which is the winter sowing project or the milk chuck planting so in the first video i had explained in detail the whole process of winter sowing and the second video was a kind of an update and uh, also troubleshooting uh, my late germination of seeds so please do check out those videos if you are interested in a winter sowing project or if you haven't seen my videos before so anyways uh, coming back to our update now so as you all can see almost all the milk jugs are looking pretty good there is a great uh, germination rate happening here almost all the seeds have germinated only a couple of them uh, i think it, lobelia there is no germination at all and asters uh, have a very poor germination at this point of time but almost all the seeds were looking uh, pretty good as you can see it's literally like every seed has come up so now coming to the end of may this is how all the milk jugs are looking i know really crazy i was uh, really busy with the other stuff in the garden and i couldn't get around to tackling them and this is what happened uh, so this one is a Dahlia Disco Dancer and you can see literally every single seed has uh, germinated, uh, leave alone germination. It's literally uh, ready to, you know, bloom now in a couple weeks. So yeah, I'm really happy with this one. That's looking so good. And you have to see this. The carrots, they have done amazing obviously every single seedling has come up these are a uh, rainbow mix a variety of uh, carrots and this one is red bakia i think it has a sort of uh, pink flowers and i was expecting uh, some other color uh, foliage on this but i don't know i may be mistaken so yeah there's a pretty good germination here as you can see you know the seeds which were uh, a little bit late i see all of them also coming up and this one i think is a tomato no it's a stalk so yeah stalk has also you know shown a really great germination i can uh, definitely say that every single seed has uh, germinated and you know become a little plant so i have never grown a stalk before so I look forward to its flowers so this is a tomato alicante it's I think a sort of a salad tomato and yes uh, every single seed has germinated here and the plants are looking really healthy even though the space was very less but you can see the stems are looking so nice and thick and healthy I can literally separate them and plant them individually and they're good to go there are lots of them in there and this one is a cornflower uh, classic fantastic i i wanted to grow this uh, as a cut flower but i'm not sure the stems look really flimsy to me i don't know how they will perform as you all can see there's a uh, flower buds already this jug has a sweet pepper seedlings and the seeds are literally from a grocery store pepper so it just occurred to me one day while cooking when i saw the seeds why not plant them and i literally planted them and every single seed came up so we'll have to wait and watch if this will produce any fruit at all these ones are to cherry falls cherry tomatoes a very great germination with these almost every seed has uh, come up and the plants are looking really healthy and nice and thick stems i'm going to separate them and plant them individually so we have lots of plants here and this one has straw flower of forever mix uh, very sad germination rate here only one plant is uh, looking like it can be planted i don't see any 
energy in the other two seedlings the tiny ones and this one is petunia i must say that petunia almost every seed has uh, come up there was a great germination rate up until the last uh, update but i think after we had a few rainy days uh, when i uh, rechecked the petunias almost half of the seedlings were eaten up it looked like snail uh, i could see the, the traces of snails on the soil in the milk jug so yeah these are aubergine okra very uh, bad they were uh, germinating they they were looking okay i was uh, almost about to see the uh, true leaves but i think a few uh, low temperature chilly nights killed the seedlings and it happened with aubergine okra and cucumbers and this one is a cornflower polka dot very great uh, success rate plants are looking so good ready to be planted and yeah this is the cucumber i had planted it the second time but nothing came up i think it's a low temperature night i i do think that that's my a single voluntary aster seedling no worries we at least get to see how the flowers look like so anyways this is her uh, the update of my winter sowing project i'm really happy with the results this is my first uh, try at this project and this is a great result for me and yeah regarding the uh, vegetables like okra aubergine and cucumbers i do feel like the uh, seeds needed warmer temperatures the chilly and really low temperature nights kill the seedlings i will uh, direct sow them in the ground once the temperatures start to warm up but i do feel like aster and lobelia i think it's a issue with the seed batch or something but all in all i would definitely recommend this pro this project to all of you who want to stay ahead of time and uh, you can sow your seeds in the cold of winter when everything is looking so s static and no activity at all and you want to do something in the garden i think this is a nice activity so yeah please go ahead and do this in the next winter so that's it for this video i hope you all really enjoyed watching this one and i hope that this video inspired you to get something done in your garden today so thanks for watching keep gardening bye